Ladies and gentlemen, on the series Tragedy Game and we are returning to Humankind. We've just entered the modern area as the Turkish and you can see that we have built our first district over here. And these districts are utterly crazy. Let's take a look at them and let's see uh, what they do actually provide over here. So. Um, as you know, and I'm just going to click on this over here, uh, these public schools do, do give you certain bonuses. Among them, one science per population. That is great. We have 49 population already, so that's already nice. 49 science. Yeah, cool. But look at the next one. Stability? That doesn't matter. Look at the next one after that. Science per adjacent research quarter plus 300%. What does that mean when you have a location like this? Let's do zoom in and find out. 871 signs. This tile currently produces 871 signs and I'm gonna bet that we can increase that a lot if we do place further research quarters sort of adjacent to it like that. I really do want to find out just how high we can stack that because that is crazy. 871 signs, we're currently making about 10,000 so that's almost 10% of our entire signs right like that and that should actually mean that we should actually reconsider the placement of some of our uh, other options now i think you are fine we can still place uh, science quarters here we can place one there it's going to cost us a little bit of food that's not too bad we are building one down here though and i think that one is kind of pointless which one is that i think it is this one but then again there's really no place here where we would have enough space to really make use of that so, honestly, I think we're going to be fine with that. We're just going to leave it there. We're going to build these guys as like that, and that should be a-okay. Uh, I guess we can place another science district now here. Yeah, again, we're going to lose some food, but it shouldn't be too, too bad, should it now? Right, so yeah, let's actually deprioritize these, and then let's get our research quarters going. Because I think up here in Overhill, this location here, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be so incredibly nice here. I really want to find out just how much research we are, can create here. Um, you know what? I don't think we have committed any any construction to that, right? So, can we buy that thing out? No, we can't. Okay, unfortunate. It says we're going to get 34 uh, plus 34. I don't believe that. Now, we're going to finish the academy here first because we've nearly already finished that. So, it should be okay. Um, and then we're going to get that. Right, other than that, we are still working on the fusion reactor here in our area where we still have some Archibuxiers and Great Swordsmen, which I really kind of dig. Um, it's just it's just a funny thing. Right, so that should take care of these guys. Now, West Point, you guys, what are you doing? Right, you do have one of these districts down there, right? So let's also replace this one over here in this science area, and that should give us a huge boost. I mean, only this Jamat here is counting as a research quarter. I suppose we could. Now this is the exhibition hall. We don't want to really replace that. No, no, no. I think that should be fine. Uh, let's do place it like that. Right. You are con you're going to finish all of these things right away, and that's fine. And you know what? Because these guys all give you a bonus per per population. I think it might make sense to increase our population here. We are already kind of higher than we can be actually. Um, which sounds a little bit off, but uh, that's actually the case. Right, so I suppose we could build further industrial quarters to give us a little bit more industrial workers. Right over there. Should be okay, right? Yeah, I think so. The exhibition also gives us some bonus, right? Yeah, let's do place it like that. Okay, that is that is a good uh, building creed here. Now, the other thing is, this is fantastic right up there, exactly. Now, Nopta over here, you also have a sort of similar situation down here, so I think very soon we're going to try to merge Nopta into Overhill. We're going to take a while before that really comes into play. And then we've got Paris, you guys are building the Settler, and then afterwards you're going to build some industrial quarters. Now, can you actually build more of these guys? before you do anything else here yeah, that would be fantastic and then north cape you're going to try to build some coal mines that's also fantastic now the last thing though that i want to point out is we have just researched nuclear fission right one of these things is that it does give you food money and science and industry on every single quarter per nuclear resource that we get that is huge because 
That also applies to this over here. You can see there's some bonus from silver, um, and there is going to be in the future some bonus from uh, uranium. We're currently not exploiting any. But the more we can get, the more crazy these bonuses will be. Notice, one of these uraniums here is on Nasha, our um, subsidiary, our sort of vassal. Um, and I want that, and I want that, and I want, don't want to wait for these guys uh, to actually finish their stuff. So we're going to move out here with our army. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to kindly ask these guys to grant them freedom and immediately going to declare a surprise war. We're now at war with them. We can actually immediately siege them. We should be able to solve them and uh, do a manual battle, of course. Yeah, yeah you are going to battle us. I'm, I'm sure of that. Uh, let's move our Archibuxias forward. The slightly disappointing thing about them is that they can only move or fire, which doesn't necessarily make them great in sieges, uh, because they can only do so much. Nevertheless, they can easily shoot these primitives and allow us then to actually... Oh, you can't get down there. Well, that is unfortunate. Well, nevertheless, let's just try to finish them off. There's the flag over here. We can potentially get that in... The not too distant future, I, I suppose. Um, especially if you guys were to move over there. And then get over here. So we've got a bit of an adjacency bonus. And these guys will now counter-attack. Well, I don't suppose uh, that they're going to be particularly good at that. Um, oh, you can turtle in or do you want to attack? Let's do turtle in. And then you guys can actually attack so that you're weakening uh, these defenders here a little bit and then they should suicide because they are going to try to defend the flag they can't go there because they're blocked in right now but yeah they are more or less suiciding here all right that should finish them off and thereby finish the battle acknowledge that's fantastic that is all great let's end the turn you're going to build that that's lovely overhill is losing some population that is not nice why is that yeah, we do have a food deficit here. Okay, let's actually deprioritize money and go into food, because the more people we're going to have here, the more benefit that that is going to generate over time. Uh, next thing is, you guys are going to surrender. We can't cancel this. We're going to need to accept their surrender. We're going to ask them to give them this, give us this city. Uh, I don't actually want that city, so what we're going to do is we're immediately going to burn it down. Because we are already over our city cap, so that's really not, not that useful. Now, the same is actually going to apply over here with Nata. You guys are going to actually burn down the city that just spawned you. Which should be okay. Let's mo move everyone up. Let's do check on our idle cities. Edgeworth. Now, yeah, your stability is really lacking. I think what we do need here is we need you guys to build one of these religious things. Let's do place that way over there on the side. Um, Edgeworth is one of our cities that is more industrial orientated, so it doesn't really make sense to build up um, these science quarters. However, I do think it might make sense to get some food on you because you've got the Manchu Picchu, which actually does distribute your access food to every other place. So I think increasing that is just going to be lovely. So whale fishing and everything. Yeah, but I do like me the nuclear plant because 2% more industry per nuclear point. We don't have that many of these, but I think it might make still make some sense. Uh, I also want to get one more unit of these guys, just one, one is fine. Um, and then let's try to go into nuclear after that. And after that we're going to try to go for whale fishing and stuff. Right, that being said, we've got another idle city, that is Nisha itself. Uh, well, you guys just start on something, you're not going to survive anyway. And then we've got protests in North Cape, but that's unfortunate. Now that is costing us some industry. You guys are building further uranium mines, so yeah, that's going to be some nice stacking of these bonuses uh, and some silver and so on. Now, you guys, I actually want you to move into here because there's coal, there's silver, there is aluminium, which is in the long term going to be so, so fantastic. And that being said, I think I would like at least two of you, like, uh, let's say you, oh, you can't, you don't have any movement points. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, we'll see. Right, and another one, nuclear weapons. We can, of course, pick nuclear weapons. We don't really have the influence to do that right now, so we're going to hold off on that. But we've got the next unit here, which is a settler. Now, you guys can 
come to the south here. Now, I'm I'm debating on whether to found a city down here or whether that should all be Paris. I'm thinking that all of that might be attributable to Paris, which wouldn't be too bad. Nevertheless, uh, let's start to move you down here. Should be okay. I don't expect any ambush there, so that should be okay. Right, we've uh, settled up over here into the area of the... What are you? The Maru... Maruians? Oh, Jesus, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and apparently they don't have a lot of... No, they do have some ex uh, exploitation there. Okay, that's okay. We've got our ships. Let's try to sail straight east here because we do want to get the bonus for circumnavigating the world which I suppose we can just uh, sort of send it over here well let's do it uh, conversely you guys are down here and you're making your way west so let's try to find out what you guys can find out about the enemy well I'm saying enemy they're not officially our like declared war enemy uh, but still right uh, yeah do move up a little bit and now we do have a further ship over here. It's still a very old ship, still a coastally constrained ship. Uh, but let's see, because I do want to find out a little bit more about this bay here. Right, that being said, uh, Paris, you did just spawn the one thing. Let's do build more maker quarters with you. Yeah, one over there is fine. And then I think... Can I actually attach some territories here? Now you're just spawning still. You guys are still spawning there, so none of that can be attached for now, but we will be able to do so in the future. So let's just continue to pile in industrial quarters here so that you can really get your industry going and, and later on be ready for a little bit more. Right, there we go. Let's do a prioritized industry. I really want to get these guys going. Um, on a very strong footing here. North Cape, you guys are still fine. Yeah, you are. Well, again, we could think about industrial quarters here. They would be costing us 400. We would be getting 36. That's less than 10 turns. Now this, I was thinking about a commercial zone here because it does have nice adjacency bonuses. I also think we wanted to build a hamlet down here. Some sort of mining town down there, I think, is, is a good idea. Right, let's do it. Right, and turn. Culture chosen. Ooh, the English reached the early modern area, and we have got the fusion reactor. So that is fantastic. There's another area star for buildings. The Mongols have fallen. Yeah, we know all about that. Um, ooh, and they are attacking us here. Now, isn't that interesting? So there are a couple of things happening here that we really do need to take into account. Right, uh, first research. Now... We have just reached the fusion reactor. 50% science, 50% uh, industry, less pollution, great, lovely. Now, there are a good number of things that we could do. Now, I think one of the issues that we still see is with, with Edgeworth. Your stability is actually looking fine, so that's not as bad. But then, not that many actually very useful industrial ones. Um, one of the few things that I would really, really love is high density habitation that allows our cities to have a lot more population and that I think is a great thing especially with our districts because it will allow more population and more signs and everything so it seems like that is very far away but it's actually not they only need three technologies urban planning which is also kind of nice because of the police force but eh, the city cap is, is kind of nice but not really. And then you've got another useful technology, which is power lines. That does give you aluminium smelting. A lot of bonuses there. We can't use aluminium for now, so that's for the moment not great, but it will be in the short term. And then we've got the hydroelectric dam, which is lovely. And lastly, social housing. Now, we do want to get the aluminium for that, right? That is a fantastic thing. And some of these things do actually need aluminium. Now, aluminium you do get by aerial warfare. So there are another three technologies, but you can see they are only lasting a turn to get. That's combustion engine, aeronautics, and then aerial warfare. All of that should not take that long. They're they like a single turn now per per thing because we are great. So let's actually do look at overhill because I want to find out just how much you're generating down here. 923 signs. No, look at that. Look at that on the left there uh, on, on this area here once I hover over that. 
That's 1,482 signs. That is actually more than the game can display on the map. I'm betting that's what's happening here. 1,482 signs for a single district. Granted, you do need to surround it with other districts, but that is just crazy. That is, that is crazy sauce. This is, this is amazing. And I think that that actually means that potentially for each population here, we're gonna get 20 signs. That's huge. Uh, utterly, utterly mind blowing. Right, uh, let's see whether we can set you up slightly differently. Now, first of all, I think you guys should start by getting a district down here uh, of whatever you've just burned down. Then we're gonna attach this territory here. And that should give us a, a lot more signs again, 500. Now, this area down here, I think, is prime for that type of work, too. So, let's build one of these science districts right here, I think. Yes, we're going to replace whatever is there. Um, and then we can replace these things down here with additional science quarters to get another set of these crazy adjacency bonuses going. And it's going to cost us some stability. But for now, you're looking fine, so I'm not too concerned here. And then I do think some industry might make sense. Plus 27 here. Plus 41 there. How is that? That's crazy. Yeah, let's do build that. Yeah, but you should be fantastically fine over there. And what we can also do is we can grab these two halberdiers here and actually disband them. Which should give you a lot more population in Overhill. We're still generating food over here. And how much are we making now? 1,600 signs almost. Crazy. Just, just utterly crazy. That is, that is really weird. Uh, let's do get rid of this battle here. That they are attacking with a single person. And nevertheless, I do want to have the joy of manually shooting them down. So, let's move you up there. These guys can go to the flank. No, sorry. You can go to the flank. You go there. You are a little bit exposed there. You can cover this flank. And you're going to cover them up at the rear. They're going to attack us, probably down here. Yeah, they are. And we're just going to gun them down. There we go. That was a suicidal attack, and very stupid of you, my friends. There we go. Uh, let's actually go ahead and air our grievance here, because you attacked us, and I really dislike that. We are going to demand reparations here. 11,000 money, that would not be too bad. They've got a lot of units here. Some of them are not necessarily the most modern, as as we are not the most mo modern, it has to be said, too. Right, so what have we got down here? We've got a lot of makers' quarters. They would yield some good adjacency bonuses. A lot of market quarters, which honestly are... I mean, at least they're they are compact. There's a farmer's quarter and a research quarter there, really. Well, honestly, I think these market quarters down here are a little bit pointless. We probably want to attach that to West Point. I think the market quarters will be good for that. But where can we establish... That would not take a turn. This would not take a turn. This up here would take some turns. So I don't think I want to do that. I think on one of these districts here is fine. But which one is it going to be? Can also place it over there. Doesn't honestly doesn't make, make too much of a difference. So let's let's do place it here. Right, Akrab, Akrab, you're going to be attached to West Point. West Point is still stable. That is lovely. West Point can that get another industrial district here to get good adjacency bonuses here. You're making a lot of money now. You are ready to grow too, and how is it? How is it looking down here? How much signs are you making? One thousand three hundred. That is, that's just crazy sauce, honestly. So yeah, fantastic. Um, what else? Makers' quarters. We've got a lot of them down here. I still think they might be a good investment. Four hundred twenty-two. That's really nothing. And your stability is is rock solid. So that might make the most sense. Some money benefits? Hmm. Yeah, let's do continue to build some industrial quarters. Plus 36. How much are we getting to get down here? Less than that. Okay, so up here is is a good choice. You know what? Let's replace this one because I think it's going to be a good 
good bonus there. Two adjacencies. Oh yeah, but the other thing that you really do need is to get the uranium mine going, and that actually has the highest priority here. Right, that's good. Okay, more, I'll say this Cliff City, our capital. Uh, what have you guys built? You could get the nuclear plant going. Not a bad idea. You've got this stuff go going on down here. What are you at? 1,300? This is 700, yeah. So, firstly, do start off with more signs up here and up here, please and thank you. And then I still think industrial districts might be the best choice for you. It's going to be a whooping 44 here, which I suppose is fine. We really should wonder whether we should uh, take this area down here and attach it to our capital and stuff, Kranzenberg. Right, what else can you get? Um, let's do try to get the nuclear plant going. Kranzberg, speaking of you, you are sort of less developed than I've always wanted you to be. Yeah, you're all still lacking quite a lot of things. Let's do get some influence. I think that's going to be okay. But yeah, I think you also do need some maker's quarters. Plus 36, some influence down there. Could be okay. Yeah, you again don't have really the great planes that we're looking for in, in some other areas. That's all, all going to be finished quite fast, so let's go into the nuclear district after that. And then let's move up all of our armies. And let's move them about. So, these guys here, um, I wanted to move them down here because I want to find out whether we can find a colony here. Because there is some aluminium, and long term that is going to be huge. Right, you gentlemen um, have now finished over here. This district up here is one that we really do need. Silver, aluminium and coal is fantastic. So anyway, well, let's just try to claim that. Where do we want to go? Probably somewhere where we've got a lot of river adjacencies. Does make sense. Up here is nice. There's only two adjacencies missing. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best. Let's go there. Alright, so you are moving over there. That's okay. Who else have we got? We've got the Settler. We've got the Cavalry still up here. Knights, actually, not even cavalry. Ooh, and we have discovered a natural wonder. Settler, yeah, let's think about them in a second. You guys also looking kind of weak, so... I would like to move you down here. But what we probably need to do is come this way, because I don't want to be too, too close to these guys. They are probably a little bit aggressive. Guys, did I not ask you to come here and then join on these guys? Yeah. Ah, uh, you can't go where I ordered you because of ice. As long as you're not running into it. You guys can get down there. Likewise, continue your explorations. Very little industrial resources down here. Right, that should be everyone. How are you guys feeling? You're sullen all of a sudden. We have the top polluter. Yeah, that's unfortunate. How are you guys feeling? Your crisis. You're hate-filled. Yeah, honestly, if you guys are attacking us all the time, what's going on with all of these notifications down here? Can't even see them. Come on. Interesting. Right, North Cape, you're still producing your stuff there. Paris, you're still producing these things. Um, you've got a little bit of things that we could attach at this moment, right? So... How's it looking? We can attach this area up here. Do we want to? I think there are at least... At least this area here should go to North Cape and potentially the river as well. Uh, sorry, the lake. So... How much does that cost us? 23. Let's actually wait because I want to prioritize that one down there. So, yeah, there we go. Urban planning research. 
in a single turn, I really love it. Right, so, how are we looking up here? Yeah, you can see, you should see that there's a lot of bonuses coming in from, let's actually look up here, overhill. Uh, there are a lot of bonuses now coming in from nuclear fission. Yeah, three. That's nice. Still only 1,600 signs. I would have thought that you'd be getting a little bit more at this point. But it's still pretty fantastic, isn't it? Right, and you're still building your research quarters and everything down here. You're generating 7,000 signs. That is so crazy. So, so crazy. Uh, afterwards, let's do get the... Coal plant and the factory going because you really need to produce a little bit faster. Political entitlement. Money on main plaza, combat strength on militia. Neither of them are useful to us at all right now. So we can safely ignore these guys. These guys here are a little bit more of a concern. Now they can't enter our borders unless they have, let's, let's call it good cause. We've got a lot of money here, so let's actually um, upgrade these guys. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. They are not that experienced anyway. So, what have we got over here? Yeah. I mean, you should be upgraded, right? Upgraded, right? You, you're very experienced, so that's okay. Right, you guys do move down here. And hopefully they're not going to attack us. You guys, let's park you on the train station. And then we're going to station you there. You guys can sail due east. Hopefully at some point we're going to get the benefit there of circumnavigating the world. Let's see what we've got here. Our elephant, still some exploration. It's interesting how we are, have nuclear fission and fusion actually. Um, and we're still exploring the world, kind of. Ooh, some uh, incense? Yeah. It does give you a lot of money. And more population gain. And power lines research. Again, so useful. Uh, the aluminium is Aristar unlocked. Lovely. Um, the, that is, that is going to be incredibly useful. Idle cities. Edgeworth, you have built this. Your stability is rock solid. You're going to get the hydroelectric dam for sure right away. We don't actually need the police force anymore, so I think you're going to be good in that regard. And let's do try to get some food with you guys. I would love that. And by the way, just notice that. How how nuclear punk is that? We can build knights or nuclear submarines. I, I just love it. It's it's kind of it's kind of silly, but let's do build one uh, just because we can. It's I like it. I like it. It's it's kind of funny. Right, that being said, um what else do we want to build? You could build some Hamlet up there. We don't really need that. We've got everything that we need. Stability, again, it's looking so solid that I actually think we could go ahead with more industrial quarters now. So let's do build them sort of as a second priority after the hydroelectric dam. Come on, guys. There we go. Thank you. Uh, speaking of hydroelectric dam, now Cliff City, you guys have so many rivers up here in, in your area that you're sort of getting. So I think you should also try to get the hydroelectric dam going. You've got all of this research down here. And that's 1,200, 1,400 signs. Lovely. I dig it. We should try to get more industry going for you though, but uh, yeah, for now, I guess we can't. West Point, you did build your industrial districts, lovely. Are you? Do you have a lot of rivers? You have some rivers down here. Some rivers which should give us good bonuses. This is a makers and a farmers quarter. So if we replace this with an industrial quarter. We're gonna lose this food, but we are gonna get some production. Hmm, not, not convinced. Yeah, let's do build it though, just uh, also because it does reduce other things. And I do think that we should potentially build a nuclear submarine in these waters too, because it's going to allow us to scout out the enemy there a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. What else? Idle City. 
North Cape. Yeah, you did build all of the resources here. We can't yet build the aluminium. But other than that, you're pretty good, aren't you? We still can't build these super expensive things. We should get more workers, though. One industry per worker, so that's 14 plus 8 plus 16, so that's about 40. It's not bad. You do have the little village down there? Yeah, you do. So these guys are now exploiting these mountains. Yeah, but I do think more maker's quarters are probably going to be the best choice for you. Where can we build them? So down here is a bit of a forest that we are not exploiting. Similar things up here, and there's one river tile that we're not exploiting. And about 10... Yeah, I think up there might be a little bit better. Put a nice little triangle there. I like it. Good, let's do it. Right, so, up here, 25. And then we're going to build two there, which is unfortunately not possible right now. But let's simply do it anyway. And then we can, I get, I, I guess, get this sort of in there in the same turn. Give us a little bit more food. Should be useful too. Right, what else? Idol armies? Yeah, sure, these knights. Um, let's do try to enter this land here and scout out what they're doing. And then check out our other armies. Shidar. Oh, you've just found that and we can attach it now to stuff. This area down there has been founded too. You guys are moving up there. I am very reluctant about this army that's that's standing around here. I dislike that. Distinctively dislike that. Let's do move down here and, and see whether we can attach you to anyone. And then you guys. Come on, do give me the Sail Around the World bonus. What do you know? Aha! Uh -huh. It really is round, after all. There we go. Nice. Doesn't do that much for us, except for granting us a little bit of prestige. But still, that's the uh, goal of the game, ultimately. Oh, look at that. There are some ruins over here. So there must be some ancient independent country uh, or independent city-state or something like that. Okay, we're finally getting a, graft, uh, a grasp here of this, this fantastic bay. Just look at how much that meanders in. Uh, that's that's kind of kind of cool. Right, yeah, we've actually matched these guys up now. So this area up here is under control. Unfortunately, really not that much in terms of resources. Yes, a little bit of incense. That's a little bit of money. But no uranium or anything like that. So is that really worth it? We're going to get social housing soon, which again is going to be fantastic. Edgeworth, what are you building? Yeah, you're still building industrial stuff and farming. I think that's great. Good. Let's end the turn. More population gains, social housing research, lovely, and it's a it's again one one science uh, one thing per turn. Well, there's a battle underway. That is distinctively bad because that's probably up here. It is indeed. Right. Firstly, let's do move up, everyone. There's another people up here. Yeah, we will need to look at uh, updating our military at some point because we are now facing off against very similar enemies here as as we ourselves are are facing so it's distinctly not good north cape you've built your industrial quarter there lovely let's do get the other ones going i think that's nice can probably build another one down here get a quad uh, another one there and probably one over here Looks good to me. Yeah, that should give us huge bonuses. Right, and it's only going to take a couple of turns. Afterwards, I like the idea of more adjacency bonuses. Or industry per worker. Why are you not actually following my advice here and, and following this expert policy? You should have as many people working in industry as possible. Okay, let's do finish off these things then. But you do need to attach this area down there too. Right. Who can we move up? Well, we've got this guy here. Now, I don't think we need to explore up there. We can, I guess, circle back a little bit here to the north. And see whether there's any sort of island with any sort of industrial resource. 
that we think might be worthwhile grabbing. You on the other hand should try to scout out further lands of the... What are they these days? I don't know. The pink ones. Right, let's uh, sail along the coast. In my considered opinion, a cultural wonder. Oh, the lighthouse of Alexandria. Of Interesting. Building that monstrosity. Right, you guys can sail forward. Come on, do sail into the fog there. And then the elephants. Let's try to walk into into the interior of this place. Oh, there's some aluminium. That might be an interesting grab. There are some independent people here. Let's try to avoid them because you really are a scout and I want to exploit that. Hmm, aluminium is interesting. Aluminium, some uranium down there. There's probably not going to be anything up here, so I guess we can cross the sea here. Look at that. So nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Right, now... Onto this, onto this battle here. What are we gonna do? Can we see what they've got? Yeah, we can. They don't have any reinforcements. They've got two swordsmen and a knight. We've got a knight albadir and the settlers. We don't have any knight actually. Right, we are constrained to this area down here, which is not so great because there are a lot of rivers here. But on the other hand, we can potentially pull back to here and form a defensive line there. I think I like that. Yeah, let's uh, do try to do that. So... Yes, sir. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's kind of unfortunate, but I think it's gonna be as... Yeah, it's just gonna be the situation, isn't it? Not great, but you can attack the knights. That should give you a huge bonus. That actually did kill the knights, which I like. You guys are then in a one-on-one -on -one standoff. Don't think there's anything that we need to do for that. Oh, but you can also enter the sea. We definitely want to pull you back, and I don't think there's any point in having you go one-on-one -on -one here. Let's defend for now. Oh, and you guys can come up here. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? I don't think you'll be able to attack down there, though, unfortunately. But we can send you up the hill. Let's do it. This attack here is, is to me, the most critical one. Let's do pull you back. You guys, yeah, you're really kind of constrained here. I suppose you should try to outflank them. You guys do continue to defend here. You're doing more damage than you're receiving, but that is, that is looking critical. Okay, but you guys can come down here along the river into their back. And then you guys should be able to wipe them out too. Nice. What about you now? Oh, um... You've got... How much How much health have you got? You could lose everything. Let's do pull you back. I think you're gonna attack us. But you might also attack these guys. Oh, it's going to continue next turn. That's fine then. Okay, uh, what else are we going to do? Clip City, you guys are building all of your construction stuff. That's going to be all right. I like it. How are we looking in Overhill? A lot of population, which we're going to put in industry to get more makers quarters. How much are we making down here now? 1,615. Ah, fantastic. And your stability is still rock solid. That's fantastic. It's fantastic what you can do here. Um, now, you don't actually have that many rivers up here, but you are starting to see some rivers over here, don't you? 
So I suppose the hydroelectric dam might make some sense for you. Let's do get that going. Cliff City, you are getting the nuclear plant into that. That's it. okay. West Point, you're doing your thing there with the hydroelectric dam. Yeah, all of that should be okay. Oh, uh, let's do take a look at Paris and stuff. They they can be sometimes a little bit hard to micromanage. Yeah, because you're building the manufactory there. And you can attach certain areas here. Now we can attach this area down here. We've got one turn until you guys can get this down here. That's to me the main priority. So I'm not entirely sure how exactly we're going to attach these things. Let's start out over here. It's going to give us 60 more industry because of all of these river adjacencies there. That's good. You can try to mine these horses at some point. But I'm a little bit... I don't know exactly how we want to do it down here. Do we want to find another city down here? Or do we want to attach all of that to Paris? And that's 800 for one. Potentially one more down there. And then go a little bit here into the hinterland. We do generate quite a bit of influence, so it might be the better choice to do, do that. On the other hand, just founding another city and maybe getting rid of the Congo because they're trying to, they are starting to annoy me a little bit over here. Let's think about that. So get this area. Downside is we'd be cutting off Paris from its uh, outlet of the river there, from the estuary. You know what? I'm gonna think about that a little bit off camera, but for now, just, just, just take in the the amazing amount of signs that we are making over here. Twenty three thousand signs per turn. That basically allows us to get almost all technologies here, even the most advanced one within two turns, and everything before that a lot faster. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and everything, and I hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.